So I'm here with James and Lizanne. You guys made Indie Game the movie. And we talked last year before there was really an Indie Game the movie. And now there's totally an Indie Game the movie. Catch us up on what's been going on. Well, we finished the movie. Good. And that took a while. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, we premiered it at Sundance this January, and that was crazy. You guys won an award. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we won Best Editing uh, for the World Camp the documentary competition. Yeah, and then uh, it got optioned yeah. uh, by HBO. Uh, Which I think there was some, some confusion about. What is HBO doing? Optionally. Uh, HBO and Scott Rudin have optioned the premise of the film, Indie Games, to make into a TV series, potentially. This is like the best legal thing in the world. Does everybody have to option from you now if they do anything about Indie Games? <laughs> hey. yes, Maybe. Are. I don't know. <laughs> we'll talk to our lawyer. Such a sweet deal. So no, I, th I think the controversy was uh, people initially heard that it was going to be a sitcom and they got yeah. super worried. Yeah, yeah, that was totally wrong. Okay. Uh, this site, Deadline, which is apparently this big Hollywood site, uh, came out with the news and said that it was going to be a comedy sitcom, which is not what we signed up for. The wacky Adventures of Phil Fish. Yeah, exactly. And so, yeah, it's not a sitcom. It's going to be, you know, it's HBO. It's Scott Rudin. Scott Rudin made the social network. So it's kind of like a social network on HBO with games, I think. I like it. If they make it. You should add in some Game of Thrones to that. That's super popular right now. Yeah, they'll just mix it all in together. <laughs> So, yeah. so now you had this success at Sundance, and you are now touring the country with the film. Tell me a little bit about the tour. Yeah, we're doing 15 cities. Uh, we're going on tour, uh, sponsored by Adobe. Adobe is making this possible that we can go and take it to uh, 15 cities around the states. And we're going to try and make an event out of each city. Uh, you know, kind of like where we go, we'll present the movie, do a Q&A. Afterwards, kind of like, you know, bring out people from the community and kind of do a, you know, meet up type of thing. And uh, yeah, just this wonderful celebration of movies and games and community. Yeah. I'm sure they can get all the information on where you're going and when on yeah. IndieGameTheMovie.com. Um, I actually saw the movie in Santa Cruz and I'm sitting there and I was thinking to myself, I like this. Would I like this more, less, or the same if I wasn't into indie games? And what, what are you finding as audience reaction from people who don't know anything about the scene? Sundance was weird. There was, it, it was like, cause nobody, like nobody knows what indie games are. A thing like Sundance, and we had tons of moms, tons of like, That's our target demo. It, it, yeah, moms. Like target moms, demo. Thirty-five to fifty, uh, loving the movie, and and people They're like the Zynga of movies. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah. So it's just people. I think what they get out of it is it's just watching someone struggle to, you know, to do something great. And in the in the film, you see what that all involves emotionally of people going up and down just to make something and it's hard making something on your own and it, and you see that in the film and I think people like that kind of journey and so that's what people are getting out of it I think I hope so I think a lot of people are pleasantly surprised that they relate to the movie as much as they do because they you know you think about video games and, you, and it's kind of like esoteric of how they're put together and then you think about indie games which is the subsection of video games and it's even more esoteric and so they they kind of come into it not knowing what to expect and then it's this they're kind of surprised when it's this universal story of creating something, like pouring yourself into, you know, this thing and then releasing it to the world and, you know, having people, you know, kind of re react to it and respond to it. And, um, yeah, so I think surprise, like pleasant surprise is kind of one of the one of the main reactions we get. Yeah. I, I have been saying to people that when this actually comes out on DVD, I want to send copies to my family so they understand what I do and why. I'm just going to be like, here's what I've been doing. No, it's cool. It's a real thing. See? Um... When is that DVD coming? You guys, you guys are sending the Kickstarter guys first, people who funded you. When, what, do you know when that's happening? Is there a timeline? Well, we're actually organizing the tour ourselves and the whole release. We could have sold the movie to somebody, but we're like, hey, we want it out fast. That's not indie. That's not indie, sort of. Uh, so we're working on it. <laughs> we're literally personally working on it, and uh, it'll. Your hand, you're hand carving every DVD. Yeah, with like a <laughs> tiny, a tiny little indie chisel. Yeah. <laughs> But the money you save doing that, oh, it's, yeah. No, no, we're, we're trying to get it out as fast as possible. Had we gone with the distributor, it wouldn't have been out till 2013. So it's going to be out before the end of the year, if not much sooner. Very cool. Well, guys, I'm, I'm so excited for you. I, it's just such good things have been happening, and I hope it just continues to be more and more good things. And if you guys want to know more about Indie Game the Movie, it's really easy. IndieGameTheMovie.com. Boom. I am in it. That's that's like disclosure. I have to do that because I'm a journalist. I'm in I'm in this movie.